Hey guys, Kyle, the Death Knight of Enemy here, bringing you my review for One Piece Chapter 923, and, oh boy, what a chapter, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I've, I've definitely got to get a few things to say about this chapter for sure, and I'm sure, I'm sure I'm gonna, sure it's gonna have a split opinion, at least if, if what I, if what I looked at the stats of my last chapter review on One Piece of the split, Opinion my last chapter of One Piece uh, seemed to have garnered, but uh, yeah, I got I got a few things to say about this chapter for sure. Um, so I'll start off small with uh, with this chapter starts off with the usual havoc that occurs after Luffy does something monumentally usually does something mon monumentally stupid, and from there we learn that apparently Tama died from the blast that Kaido fired in the previous chapter. At least if, if that's the way I've kind at least if that's the way I've kind of got it understood. It was it wasn't very clear, but uh y yeah, it, it does seem to be the case that from which Tama is in fact dead and, and and Kaido killed her and I'm I'll start off by saying it was definitely an emotional it was definitely an emotional scene to an extent, but okay, here's the thing. It was a good scene. It was emotional, but at the same time, something about it also felt a touch forced, and really only made her feel a little bit too much like a plot device to get Luffy riled up. Or I don't know. Maybe I just had my hopes too high about her involvement in this. I'm not sure. Or I don't know. I, I, or maybe it had something to do with, with with the chapter being so short. I'm not sure. But but yeah, there's just something about about Tama's death in this in this chapter that again it was it wasn't emotional to an extent but at the same time there's something there's something about about the way it was handled that just seemed a little either forced or just oh like oh oh Thomas dead so yeah just like I, I I think my mind just hasn't processed it yet something or yeah it just it didn't it didn't feel right I guess you could say is all I can say about it, but yeah, there was something off there for definitely for sure. I'm not sure what it was, but yeah, something was off there for me. Um, and yeah, let's talk about the insane part about the ch this chapter is, which is that every single, as we see in this chapter, every single blow Luffy landed on Kaido did a little more than to sober him up. Well, on the well, on the flip side. All it took was one single blow from his club for Kaido to knock Luffy the hell out. And this is, it's, uh, it, I'll admit, it was one of those things where, at, at the beginning when I read this chapter, I was like, wait, why, why, why pretty much is, is Luffy landing so many fucking hits on Kaido? This doesn't seem right. Like, that's what my mind was initially thought, but, but, then, but then we got to the scene of Kaido basically knocking Luffy out, and I was like... Holy shit! So all those all those blows that Luffy landed on him, all they did is practically just just kind of so just just kind of just kind of only sober him up like that. That alone is just nuts, just pure nuts, and it really just puts Kaido on that big on like a pedestal onto himself. Like we've we've basically there've been all these kind of shit. There's all this kind of shit about about who's who's basic who's the strongest who's the strongest um who's the strongest Yonko and yeah if this doesn't put Kaido at the top I think it at least puts him like at the at least near the top that's for sure at at least near the top that's for damn sure although I am I am inclined to believe he is at the top now <sighs> that yeah he is the top Yonko or whatnot um. But, but having said that, with 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 what with what Kaido did in this chapter, <clears throat> and I know I've received a lot of down. I know I received a lot of down votes on my last video about this. But like with with this reveal of, of what Kaido did in this chapter, it really. <sighs> this is exactly what I was talking about in the last chapter. I get that Luffy has a good heart, and that everything he does is to protect the people he cares about. But in this case, letting his emotions control him the way he did actually actually hindered 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 things 
in, 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 in actually actually hinder the whole situation that, that he's in rather than actually doing anything to help at least in the grand scheme of things like Luffy Luffy getting Luffy like jumping in like that he didn't it didn't do he, he didn't do a damn thing so to that end like his he, he it was just a fact of he, he let his he let his emotions just get he, he let his emotions basically control his actions in this case and when you're up against Yanko, like, I mean, it worked worked for Big Mom, but in this case, he, he can't let his emotions control him. He just can't. It's it, it it it's it was basically proven in this chapter that letting his emotions control him, letting his emotions pr pretty much control his actions, didn't didn't help at all. Like, if anything, now that Luffy's knocked out cold, this just made the situation even worse and. Funny thing, and the funny thing about Luffy getting knocked out in this chapter, is that this basically this basically brings things completely full circle. When you, when you look back and consider what what it was that that, that which Moria had said on Thriller Bark as well about how the strength of himself and his crew alone isn't enough for the new isn't enough isn't enough for, 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 isn't enough for, 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 isn't enough for, 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 isn't enough for, for Luffy to handle the new world and the Yonko that inhabit it and inhabit it. So. I, I think it's I think it's getting to be about that time where Luffy has to consider that in this situation he has to swallow his pride, and bring and bring in the cavalry, or at the very least start listening to Law what what, what Law has to say because, yeah he he wasn't like he pretty much he completely didn't even he didn't even listen to he didn't even even listen to Law. In this chapter, he was like, "No, I'm going in. If if I if if I basically if I take him out now, that the plan's useless. But guess what? You're pretty much useless now, Luffy. So, yeah. Although, I am. Although with this whole thing, I am curious as to how everyone else is gonna get Luffy out of this. I mean, obvious idea would would, would definitely be for basically for 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 basically lot for 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 a lot lot of for lot for a lot to use his powers and switch Luffy's body out, but he's gonna have to he's he's gonna have to time it just right to to much when to a point as to when Kaido is is isn't looking. So yeah, the alliance is really gonna have to time this perfectly if they even hope of saving Luffy. I mean, assuming that the next chapter, assume, assuming next chapter that Kaido doesn't 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 basically drag Luffy's body and drag Luffy's body pretty much back to his base and have him in prison right alongside Kid. Although, it does, if if that does if that letter does turn out to be the case, it uh, I guess I guess it would give them even more of an opening in order to save save Luffy, depending on the situation and. Again, if if Eustace is still imprisoned, then I'm curious what part he'll have to play in all this. Uh, again, this is just me making the assumption that that that, that Luffy is that Luffy is going to be imprisoned in, in in basically Kaido's in, in basically in, in that little cell that, that that Kaido has to write a song right alongside Kid. But yeah, I'm, if if Luffy's going to be imprisoned, I'm curious as to what part Law is going to play in this story from here on. Um. And I guess other than that, the, the only other thing I have to talk about is the pacing, because this chapter was, for lack of a better term, another short, fast, and but in its own way, informative chapter. And I think it is kind of just a testament to Oda's abilities as a, as a storyteller that he can still do so much with so little, although maybe that is a... Although, at the same time, I... I I have only have to assume that the 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 the, 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 the lack of that the lack of pages in this chapter did might have played into as to why I felt as to why I felt the way I, I felt about uh, about Thomas' death. So yeah, there's that. But um, yeah, guys, that's my review. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Analyst or Crunchyroll. Death Night of Anime. Signing off. Later, guys.